Hi everybody, how are you? Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. It is so wonderful and fantastic to be here with you guys. I'm so, so, so excited and uh, just full of joy to be with you guys today. Um, my name is Lauren. My YouTube channel is Nikki Disney Loving Mama and I'm so happy to have you here. Um, we do a lot of Disney videos, uh, some Harry Potter, got my Slytherin shirt today. Um, I just woke up this morning and I really, really, really wanted to represent Harry Potter today. I just, I love Harry Potter. Disney is my first love, but I love Harry Potter. Like first it's Disney and then Harry Potter. And today I just really wanted to to show my Harry Potter love. Um, and uh, I, I got this shirt uh, when we went to um, Universal last May. Um, and I just wanted to wear it, so. Yeah, sometimes you wake up and you just wanna be loving and representing your Harry Potter passion, so yes. <laughs> Uh, so we do some Disney um, content, Harry Potter, lifestyle a little bit, um, motherhood updates, um, yeah, just stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm just really happy that you guys are here. Please like this video, please subscribe if you haven't done so already and this is your first time coming over to my channel, it would mean so much to me to have your support and to have you here along this wonderful and fantastic journey with me. Um, please uh, leave me comments if you're new, if you are a current subscriber or a viewer, always leave me comments. Uh, just let me know what's going on in your life. Um, and uh, if you have not done so already, and if, if you're new here, or again, if you're a current subscriber, but you just haven't done so already, and you do have a YouTube channel, um, or are planning to start your channel, um, just go ahead and please leave me that information. I would love so much to follow you guys and to support your journey. And uh, please follow me on Instagram. Um, that's where I do, uh, um, you know, I post pictures um, of my family. I do uh, kind of updates when I post new videos. I just do random videos. Last night I posted a video of me dancing to one of my favorite songs from one of my favorite movies, uh, Bay Max, and I thought it was, would be kind of fun to do like a movie trivia question, like well, guess where this movie is from, listening to this song. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and yes, I was wearing a hat in that video. And yes, it was nighttime because you know what? I will fully admit uh, proudly that there are days, um, definitely more than one day in a row where, listen, this mama doesn't shower. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes I don't even remember if I brushed my teeth um, and I know that's really disgusting and, and not hygienic by any means but sometimes motherhood life um, it, you just don't remember what you know if you brushed your teeth um, and uh, you think you did but you just quite can't you can't remember um, and sometimes day, a day can pass by where I just don't shower. Um, so I had really, really bad hair uh, and um, I was not gonna even attempt trying to, oh, the gardeners are here, sorry. <laughs> I always get so distracted by the gardeners, I don't know why. Um, but I was not going to even attempt trying to like fix it or do anything with it. So on days when I have a bad hair day, I just put a hat on it and uh, I basically wear it from, you know, sun, <laughs> excuse me, sun up to sundown. So even in the evening when I'm home, you know, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning up after dinner time, which is what I was doing um, during when I recorded that video last night, um, 
kind of a fun interim and in between cleaning the dishes and uh, cleaning up after dinner. So, and then when I go to bed, that's when I take my hat off. So <laughs> that's what I do sometimes because I just don't want to even bother trying to fix it or, or just, oh, I don't have that, that patience because I know no matter what, unless I actually shower, my hair is a disaster. So on days when I don't shower, I just put a hat over my head because there's just no way of trying to, to, to have it look good in any shape or form. So a little inside peek in my life and uh, how I maintain my hair when I don't shower. Um, and obviously today I did shower. So um, that's why it looks like this and I'm not wearing a hat over my head. So yes, in case you guys wanted to know, I don't know, I feel like sometimes I just include random information about myself that you could care less about and is really weird and maybe TMI, maybe you didn't want to know that I don't shower every day. But I let you guys know everything about myself, right? Well, maybe not everything, because that's a little, I don't know if you really want to know everything about me. That might freak you out too much. <laughs> that might be a little too, a little too much, um, you know, but, uh, but some things, right? Um, but yeah, so, um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a really great day. Uh, just to kind of, before we get into the, 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 the unboxings, which you guys already know from the title, which I'm very excited about getting into. Um, uh, I had a bit of a, a bit of a rough morning. Um, you know, I, you know, if you're new to my channel, um, you, you know that I, I lost my, my son, um, at 30 weeks I was pregnant and I lost him in the beginning of February. And his due date was actually April 19th, so only a few weeks ago. Um, and like all morning, whenever you lose somebody that you love so unexpectedly and tragically, um, anybody could agree that some days are, you know, a little harder than others. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I try always so hard to be strong for myself. I always try so hard to be strong for my boys. I want to be strong. I want to be, I want to put myself out there. I want to be happy. I want to have a life full of magic and love and happiness and joy and smiles and laughter and feeling that magic every day and adventures and incredible and beautiful uh, experiences. And I want that for my boys. I want them to be surrounded by that. Um, and I want them to, you know, eat, breathe, and sleep that. And I want them to always know that they're in a very loving and happy and joyful um, family and, and environment. Um, and I really want that for them and, and for myself. Um, you know, I don't want a, a life full of pain and darkness and, and tragedy um, and just crying and crying and crying and just being in despair every day. I don't want that. Um, and I wouldn't want that for anybody. Um, uh, and, you know, I know mourning is a process that goes for months, for years, for, for however long you need it. Um, and, you know, I think at some point you just kind of learn to, I guess, live with it um, is maybe, a, maybe the best way of putting it. I'm not even that sure. Um, but I just know that, you know, just talking to other moms who have gone through this, who have uh, had a loss, um, you know, years ago or even or even months ago, like further out than I did, um, you know, they, you, you do in some way, it kind of feels, it kind of feels crappy saying it, because I don't really know any other way to put it, but you kind of just learn how to live with it. Um, and you and you just go forward and you, you do have that life that you really want, um, you know, full of happiness and magic because you, you, you want that for yourself, for your other family members, for your other children, if you have other children. Um, and, you know, you, you just, because you don't want to be in a life full of darkness and not feeling the sun in your face and not having a life full of magic and love and joy. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, you know, there's still some days and I think this is going to go forward for a while, I imagine, 
um, you know, there are just, there, there are some days that are harder than others. Um, and for no particular instance, it's not like something happens on those days that, you know, makes them harder. Um, it's not like it's like a spark or, or, you know, an actual action. I think it just depends on how you wake up. It depends. There, it, it, there's just no rhyme or reason. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, for me, I think it just depends on, uh, what I'm doing that day, how I slept, um, you know, just, just how, where my thoughts kind of stray and take me. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's, and this morning was, was a hard morning, you know, I just began thinking about, um, Evers and, uh, you know, so I had a bit of a hard morning <laughs> and I thought I would just admit that with you guys because, you know, as much as I want to say like, oh yes, I had this horrible tragedy and I'm, and I'm past it and every day is like magical and amazing and I just love life and I'm being, you know, the best mom that I can be every day and my, you know, and, and, you know, and I'm happy all the time now and I'm smiling and like everything is fantastic and wonderful and great. Um, you know, and that's what I want for myself overall in my life. And, and I, I want that for my boys. Um, but there are some days still, which are, you know, really, really hard. You know, this past week we had, I'll give you a bit of a life, a, a life update here as well. Um, and I think that's why maybe this week has been really hard for me. Um, now kind of thinking about it in hindsight, like, duh. Um, but this past week we had um, a kind of an aftercare appointment. Um, it's, so just to give you a, 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 a quick uh, up, uh, a history, or not really a history, but explanation. Um, in my hospital where I had Evers, where I delivered him, um, anybody who has a stillbirth or stillborn um, or has an infant loss, um, the, the doctors are really quite amazing and at least every every other week they really uh, they call up the family they call up the mother and they check in they want to see how we're doing mentally and physically how we are recuperating and recovering if there's anything they can do to help to be there for us it's really amazing and, and wonderful um, they you could even sign up for you know counselors to come to your house to kind of look in on you which is just incredible and amazing and I and I, and I just I'm so, um, I just appreciate that so much because it really shows me that they really care about, you know, us, um, even after we leave the hospital. Uh, and this past week, um, on Wednesday, I'm recording this on Friday, um, on Wednesday, uh, my husband and I had a, uh, an appointment, um, on, uh, we had an appointment with the hospital and for the first time since being pregnant and losing Evers, that was my, my son's name, um, we went back to, they have a, a, a separate doctor's office where women go um, for uh, their, uh, for their ultrasounds if you're high risk. Um, so in addition to seeing your regular OB um, at their at your regular OB's office, you go and see you go into a different you know building um, closer to the hospital uh, to see your like high risk OB if you're over 35, which I am, I'm 37, or if you have any kind of complications, which I did, I had a hematoma. Um, so in addition to seeing my my regular OB regularly, I saw my high risk OB too every other week for ultrasounds and blood work just to make sure everything was okay. Um, and uh, you know that's where they did you know the big scans as well, like the twenty week and the sixteen week, and they did all of the genetic testing um, at thirteen weeks. <sighs> So it was very emotional being back there because obviously when I was there before, I was pregnant. <laughs> so that was really hard. Um, and uh, that was that was pretty tough being there, you know, back in that office because the last time I was there, um, I was there, um, you know, a couple of weeks before 
you know, we lost Evers. Um, so that was pretty hard. And we just, you know, they wanted to just meet us in person to, you know, go over everything and just, again, to make sure if there's anything they could do for us and just kind of check in on us to see how I'm doing, how Jess is doing. Um, and they also, um, you know, wanted to do an actual uh, kind of physical check. They did blood work. They did an ultrasound, which was pretty hard. Um, <laughs> that was pretty hard. <laughs> um, you know, just to make sure that I was okay, that my uterus was okay, that my ovaries were okay, um, to make sure, you know, everything was, was healing and, and recovering as it should, uh, to make sure I passed everything, because sometimes, especially with a stillbirth or stillborn, um, you know, there can be residual uh, tissue that doesn't pass on its own. Um, so they wanted to check my uterus to make sure it was, you know, you know, shrinking, that it was back to like normal size pre-pregnancy um, and my ovaries. Um, and, uh, you know, they did blood work to check on my hormones um, because that's also a huge thing that they worry about, you know, during pregnancy and in situations like this, they want to, you know, make sure your, your hormones are okay. So they did a, you know, total, like a complete blood panel, panel, pl 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 blood panel to check on that. Um, so we'll get the results um, of those of that blood work um, next week. They said they said it would take five to seven business days to get the results back. So hopefully everything should. I've never had any issues before with my hormones. Um, so hopefully that should also come back. They also did a, a test to see if I um, had any kind of issues with blood clots because they did, they, they definitely, so, so uh, another backstory. Um, they they can't say with complete confidence that this was the issue on why Evers passed away at 30 weeks inside of me and why there was no heartbeat. Um, but they're they're pretty sure that it was tied. The, the explanation was his umbilical cord. Um, that it got uh, slightly knotted. It wasn't, there wasn't a huge knot and it's not like it wrapped around his neck or any other part of his body. Um, but when, from what they could tell in the ultrasound before I delivered him and when I did have him, they could tell the umbilical cord was um, not even knotted per se, but more like crimped kind of, like the way you would crimp your hair is kind of how I think of it. Um, like with a hair crimper, it was kind of crimped. It wasn't like a big knot, um, but it was slightly crimped, I guess, and like a little, a little knotted, but nothing like huge and enormous. Um, so there was no like big showing, telling evidence like this is what happened. Um, but that's what they're kind of going off. That's what they're thinking. And my OB has been doing this, you know, she's been an OB in practice for more than 20 years. And unfortunately, you know, she told me that this is not the first time, I'm not her first patient who has lost a baby like this. And, you know, talking to, to other OBs, high risk OBs, that's kind of their, uh, their professional and medical um, uh, um, feeling and thoughts that this is what happens in these situations, that the, the umbilical cord, um, because they, they could tell he did pass away because of oxygen, because he wasn't getting his oxygen, um, that the umbilical cord was like crimped um, and very, very, very small, uh, you know, not like with, with small knots, um, but nothing really big. Uh, and that's what they also, so they came back, so that's what they told us when I, when I had him um, in February, when I, when I delivered him, um, because that's what they could tell right there and then. And then when we met with them this past Wednesday, you know, they, they actually sent, when I, so when I, back up again, sorry about that. When I did deliver him um, in November, in November, in February, uh, they did, um, I, I decided to not do an, obs an, obtop an autopsy on Evers. Um, some people elect, uh, decide to do that, which I totally support. 
um, and I think that's totally fine and I and I respect that and I support that so much if you if you decide to do that um, I for one just my husband and I did not want to do that we, we we just could not do that we did not want to do that um, but we but then my OB said uh, you know she was totally fine with that and, under, and understood she said well if you want us to we could also send the placenta and the umbilical cord off to um, a lab for testing to see if we could get further information about why he passed and why um, you know why there was no heartbeat um, and we could actually confirm our our theories about the umbilical cord being you know kind of crimped and knotted and that's um, and that was the reason so I, we said yes to that. Um, and this past Wednesday, the results came back from the lab and they could confirm that the, the, the placenta was totally fine. There were no issues with the placenta um, or the uterus. Um, uh, and it definitely was not the hematoma that caused any conditions or, or any um, effects. The hematoma had no correlation with the umbilical cord. Um, so it was totally unrelated, uh, but they could confirm after testing, after them doing like like looking at the umbilical cord even more, you know, closer, um, and with the right tools, that it was crimped, um, and uh, it was, you know, that was the, the reason. Um, they can't tell me why it happened. That we'll never know. Um, We'll never know the why. <laughs> um, it just happened. It's not like something I blatantly did. Um, you know, he was perfectly healthy. Um, I'm I'm healthy except for my high cholesterol. You know, I take statins every day. I have, I'm I'm, I'm uh, I have a genetic condition which makes my cholesterol very high. Um, but besides that, I'm I'm very healthy. Um, you know, the baby he was. He was perfectly healthy. Um, there were no issues with my amniotic fluid, with my with my uterus, you know, with my placenta. Uh, everything was on target to to deliver him full term at forty weeks. He was perfectly healthy. Um, it just happens, is what they told me. You know, when when we met with them this past Wednesday, it it just happens. Um, or, or it can just happen is, 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 is what I what I should be saying um, and there's no they, they don't know why it happens sometimes and why it doesn't happen um, it's not like I, I did something that caused it to you know crimp um, and kind of curl up um, and uh, but uh, that's that's what they they told us with definite you know authority after the lab came back um uh oh but so going back now sorry or going forward now so uh they did say that if you are um predisposed or have a, a genetic condition that is correlated to you getting the mom getting blood clots that could be um an explanation and a reason and be correlated to the umbilical cord getting knotted or crimped or kind of just not, um, you know, something happening to it when you are pregnant, if you had this, predispos this predisposition or this genetic uh, condition that they can test for. Um, so they told me that if you want us to, we can test you for, you know, blood clots to see if you have this. And that could be um, a reason as to why this could have happened. Um, so I obviously said yes, of course. Um, I, I, I want to get tested. Um, so they did that blood work as well, um, which we will find out again in five to seven business days. So I will keep you guys updated with that. Um, and uh, uh, you know they they. They said if it were to come back positive, that would give, that would that could be a reason as to why it happened. Um, and if it were to come back positive, you know they they you know they said it it's not life threatening. Um, it's very easily managed with you know appropriate 
care, so if that's if that's something that I would need to be put on medication for every day, um, or just you know be seen more routinely with you know doctors. Um, they also said another reason why they tested is if you know some sometimes after a loss like this, women go ahead and try again for another pregnancy. Um, which again, if that's something you do, I totally support and I completely stand by what stand by and I, and I support you if that's what you want to do. Um, for us, uh, I can definitely say right now and forever um, that we are never going to try for um, our fourth baby. Um, it's just not something that we want to do um and it's not something that we that we want to do um you know we have our two babies on earth with us we have our angel baby who is always going to be with us in our hearts um so we have our three babies and that is it um and we're gonna and we're very um you know and that's our our final decision decision there's no going back on that there's no I will never change that um, decision. Um, but they did say that if I were to be positive and if I were to go ahead and try for fourth baby, um, that would just be good knowledge to have if I am predisposed to blood clots because then they would um, go about the pregnancy differently. And I guess, you know, they would just see me more regularly and do different tests to make sure I was healthy and I was okay and the baby was healthy and, and the baby was okay. Um, and that's another huge reason why they wanted to test me. But I told them that um, I, I'm not, we're not, we're not going to have, we're not gonna try for a fourth baby. Um, but um, I wanted to have the blood work done anyway, just to see if that would be um, an explanation as to why this happened to Evers. Uh, so, um, but they said that they don't think I am predisposed to blood clots um, because all of my testing when I, when I was pregnant and I had like so many testings, so much blood work done when I was pregnant with him for, for him, for me, um, everything came back negative, everything came, came back normal, and I've never had issues before with blood clots. I don't have a family history of blood clots, um, so that they're pretty sure it would come back negative. Um, because, you know, as you know, when you're pregnant, you have a lot of blood work done. <laughs> so um, I'm pretty sure they, they probably tested something like that similarly when I was pregnant. Because um, I think they tested me when I was 13 weeks pregnant. They did like 400, they, they tested for over like 400 genetic syndromes and defects and conditions and diseases. So I'm sure there was something similar uh, to blood clots that they tested me for, which came back negative. But um, I think they really like to be very thorough. Um, and even if it means kind of retesting me for the same thing twice, uh, to see if they missed something, or maybe something um, started later on in my pregnancy, which didn't, which was not occurring in my first trimester or even second trimester. You know, things are always constantly changing in your body, uh, especially during pregnancy, especially when you lose a baby. So, I think they also just like to be very thorough and double check and triple check and quadruple check, uh, quadruple check. So. Anyway, so <laughs> that's what happened this past Wednesday. I will keep you guys updated with those test results as soon as I get them. Um, but I think that's another reason why I've just been kind of having a harder week this week because it's kind of resurfacing and we're kind of, the fact that I was back in that building, had an ultrasound done, um, which, you know, I, so, so this morning, anyway, I taught, I've been, <laughs> This morning I was a little sad um, and um, yeah, um, we actually have the uh, blanket uh, that he, that Evers was wrapped around after he was delivered. They wrapped him around in a, in a blanket, in a beautiful, very soft white blanket um, and uh, after 
we had our day with him and we held him. Uh, they gave us the blankets and his little hat that he was wearing. So, you know, sometimes when I have really hard days, um, uh, I hold the blankets and I just hold it close and it just makes me feel better and it really, really helps. Um, and it makes me feel like he's here with me and that, you know, and it's just very comforting. It's very, um, therapeutic and very, um, I have a real sense of just peace when I hold that blanket because I really feel like he's here with me, that I have a physical item that was his and now it's mine. So, um, yeah. So, <laughs> you guys probably were not expecting this ramble for 30 minutes you probably were just expecting a triple unboxing from Bibbidi but like I said before I want to be very open and transparent with you guys I want to let you guys know what's happening in my life any kind of updates um and this was a big update and this was something that I really wanted to talk about with and um yeah just kind of <sighs> just talking with you, just talking with you and letting you guys know how my morning was and what happened this past week. Um, yeah, so also to talk about uh, something also very big and very exciting and truly magical and amazing and beautiful and joyful and incredible and exciting. It's my son's birthday on Sunday, May 1st. He will be turning seven years old, um, which I am, you know, he is just so excited about. We are such a birthday, like, fanatic family. We love celebrating any kind of celebration, and especially birthdays, especially for the boys. Um, and Ryder, my six-year-old, who will be turning Sunday, so who will be turning seven this Sunday, is so excited. He's so excited, and I'm just, oh God, I just can't believe he's gonna be seven. It's just crazy. Um, you know, he's he's gonna always be my baby, um, and he's just getting to be so big, and it just blows my mind that he's growing so much. I just can't believe it. Oh God. Um, so that's very exciting. And uh, tomorrow we have his birthday party at a rock climbing uh, place. Um, he began to take rock climbing classes a couple of months ago at a place close to us. Um, and he really loves it. And uh, they, they do birthday parties there. So when I found that out, I was like, oh my God, yes, he would love that. So we are preparing and planning for that which will be a lot of fun. And luckily the place where we're having his birthday party does takes care of everything, the food, um, you know, the plates, the decorations, the goodie bags. So we're very lucky with that. Um, and uh, the cake, I don't wanna tell you what cake he is getting because I wanna show you guys when we pick it up tomorrow before the party. I don't wanna do any kind of spoilers. Um, but it is Disney themed, I will say. Uh, again, we are a huge Disney family and my, my son loves Disney. He loves, loves, loves Disney. Um, we all do so much and he just loves it. <clears throat> so when I asked him what he wanted for his birthday cake for the theme, he came up with this all on his own, all on his own which really, it, it, it was just so <clears throat> amazing and, and just beautiful that he wanted this to be his kind of theme for his birthday cake. Um, so I will show you guys the cake when we pick it up tomorrow, but I can't wait to see it. I can't wait for him to see it. I can't wait to show you guys. So that's really exciting. <coughs> and next Friday, woo -woo, we are leaving for Disney World. I can't wait to be home. My home away from home. Um, our second home, as I call it. I can't wait. We haven't been. My husband and I went there last uh, October for the, the, the anniversary on October 1st. Um, 
and uh, that was a horrible trip <laughs> that because well um, if you if you're new to my channel um, we went away my husband and I went away just the two of us for Disney World last October for just a couple of days to be there for their uh, 50th um, and while we were there while I was getting off literally spaceship birth that's when I had very, very heavy bleeding and was rushed away, rushed off to the emergency room um, at their at the Orlando hospital, and that's when they first discovered the hematoma. So uh, <laughs> that was a great trip. <laughs> um, but we have not been with the boys since last May, and we're going again this May. And you know what? I've been thinking about it. I think as much as I would love to go different during different times of the year. We, we, we went on our first trip in December of 2019. Um, but, you know, and I loved going there during Christmas so much. And I would love, 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 love to go during um, Halloween because my boys, especially my six-year-old, my soon-to-be seven-year-old, sorry, oh my goodness, um, loves Halloween. Um, but I don't know, there's something, there's something really special and, and beautiful. I love traditions. I love, um, you know, having a vacation during the same time every year. I think that's something really beautiful and magical. And the boys love going to Disney for their birthdays. And I love that as well. I love really having this beautiful, um, really special occasion full of incredible times and magic and memories with them for their birthdays. Both of my boys have birthdays in May. Um, and it's also Mother's Day. So we're actually gonna, we're gonna be there for Mother's Day. We're gonna arrive on Mother's Day. We're gonna take, we're taking two days to travel. Um, so I don't know. And I asked Ryder about it and he said that he really does love going to Disney World for his birthday. It really like to get that birthday button and to get we're we're having matching birthday shirts. Um you know, he really loves it. It's very special. It's very amazing and incredible to to celebrate your birthday in Disney World. It's the most magical place in the pla like on the planet. Um but I also would really love to go back during December and take them, you know, to Disney World for Halloween the first time. So I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about it because we can only afford to go once a year. Um, and with my husband's work schedule, he can only take off so much time from work, you know, once a year as well. So we have to really pick that one week where we go each year. Um, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards going uh, next year for Halloween and taking a whole week and taking them to Halloween because, you know, if you don't know, they just dropped the news, big news, that the Mickey's uh, Halloween party, the, I forgot the full name, like very, like Mickey's very, what is it called? I don't even know. I forgot the name of it, but the actual party and parade are finally coming back, finally, 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 finally. Um, and I was very excited and happy to hear about that and to know about that. <sighs> and I know my boys would love, love, love seeing that parade and meeting the characters. And again, just being there on Halloween and especially how uh, the Headless Horseman goes in the beginning. My, my six-year-old, Soon to be seven year old. <laughs> I feel like right I have to start getting I feel like I'm gonna I have to start saying that more often that he's gonna be seven this this weekend. Um they would love seeing that parade so much and seeing just seeing the Halloween decorations. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I I'll think about it. Let, let me know let me let me know your favorite time to go. If you love going during December or Halloween or during the Festival of the Arts, or Garden Flower, or Food and Wine, or during the summer. Let me know when you guys go and what your favorite time to go um, is. I would love to know that. So, um, but yeah, so we are leaving next Friday for a whole week. 
and I can't wait and I have everything already planned. I love planning our Disney vacations. It's so much fun to me and I love it. So we have a couple of great restaurants that we're gonna experience for the first time. And I can't wait to hug Mickey. I can't believe that meet and greets are back and we finally get to hug Mickey. I can't wait, I can't wait. I will be crying. I know I'm gonna be crying when I hug him. I'm gonna be like, move over kids. It's mama's turn. <laughs> Um, I'm definitely that mom who's like, well, whoever kids, it's mommy's turn. Um, oh my God, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. And I really hope that they do bring back, um, characters that were there before, you know, COVID. Like, I hope they bring back Baymax. I would love that so much. I hope they bring up, they bring back 1900 Park Fair. I really hope they bring that. We were lucky to get a reservation there last December, or not last December, December of 2019. And it was so incredible. Oh my God, that was maybe one of the best character interactions and meals, period. Um, I really hope they bring back, uh, you know, Eugene and Prince Eric uh, to the Bon Voyage breakfast. Um, Oh my goodness, I think Akershus is still closed too, so hopefully they bring that back too for characters. Um, I, I really hope it all comes back. I really hope at some point this is kind of the beginning and that, you know, come maybe next year or in another two years, everything will be back to, to how it was. I hope, I hope, I hope. But I'm so excited that they're bringing back the October um, parade and that meet and greets are back, so that'll be so exciting and I can't wait. So, yes, so next Friday, guys, we are leaving. I'm so excited. But let's get into 41 minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I told you guys, I give you, I give you guys updates. I give you guys updates. I don't know where my scissor is. Uh, all right, so this video, we're going to do it. We're doing triple unboxings. You guys know, I've said this before, I am so behind with my unboxings. I have so many boxes that I need to unbox with you guys that I wanna share with you guys. Um, dating back to last year, uh, last like summer, I would say, because even when I first started my YouTube channel, I signed up for a lot of monthly boxes and one-time boxes, both Disney and Harry Potter, um, but you know, I was just uh, definitely overwhelmed for starting off my channel and having doubts about who would ever want to watch me, that kind of thing. And um, so that kind of delayed me uploading videos regularly in the beginning. Um, and I still have those thoughts every once in a while um, where I'm like, who would ever want to watch me? And then I kind of have to slap myself and be like, you got this girl, you got it, you got it. Um, and, uh, you know, also before I started my YouTube channel, I signed up for a couple of monthly boxes and one-time boxes, um, last, like, January, February even, I signed up for a couple of boxes, um, but I just never got around to opening, uh, a lot of them because that was also the time that we began to, begin to try to get pregnant and that was very emotional for me because I had a lot of doubts and insecurities about not getting pregnant um, and just a lot of emotional uh, insecurities and fears about that uh, and um, so that kind of um, you know that really affected me and, and I wasn't able to have that time to to have that time for myself to have those magical moments to do my own unboxings, you know, obviously before I started my YouTube channel. Um, and then even before I started my YouTube channel, I kept on thinking to myself, okay, like you're gonna, cause I, I was I was wanting to start my YouTube channel um, for months, even before I started it last June. I would say I wanted to start it, I wanted to start my YouTube channel last March. And for months, right, March, April, May, June, like four months, I was just way too insecure. I was way too self-conscious. I was way too scared. I was like, who would ever want to watch me? Um, and you know, every time that I that I tried to get up that bravery and that courage and that confidence, it just kind of slipped right under right underneath me again. Um, 
Uh, but finally one day in June, I was like, no, like you got this, you can do it. Like, like don't let fear uh, take what you wanna do away from you. Don't let fear control your life. Don't let fear get the best of you. Like you, you, and I feel like we all have to say this to ourselves many, many times that we got this, that we are worth something. We are special. We are, um, you know, valuable. We are uh, worth it. And we are really amazing and wonderful. And I feel like sometimes we, we all have to say that to ourselves because we all get so full of doubt and insecurities and anxiety and stress. Um, so I finally, was like, you can do this, you can do it, you got this. Like, you're you're amazing and beautiful and you got this. So finally in June, I started my channel. So anyway, um, <laughs> that's my little, my little spiel for this Thursday's, Friday's video. So anyway, triple boxings, it's gonna be a long video. I should have said that in the beginning. Um, so hopefully you guys are comfortable. We're gonna get into it right now. I subscribed to their Disney monthly box and their Wizard's Vault, which is their Harry Potter box, because I do love Harry Potter so much. Um, and I don't know, because obviously it's not like they say in the outside of the box, oh, this is Wizard's Vault, oh, this is Disney. No, I have no idea. We're gonna find out together, and it's gonna be awesome. Um, and this is Bibbity. Uh, I paid for these boxes with my own money. It's not, you know, they didn't send, these boxes to me for free. Um, I love Bibbity. Bibbity is amazing and incredible. I will let you know right now, the Disney subscri subscription boxes that I highly recommend that you check out that are amazing and incredible and they really take care of you. They really listen to what you want, what you don't want. Their preferences are amazing. The owners are amazing. Um, are Bibbity, Enchanted Mysteries, uh, Magic at Your Door, and um, a box that I don't really know. I don't really know a lot of if a lot of people know about it. Um, I haven't seen too many unboxings of this company on YouTube, um, but I came across them and I love the owner. She's amazing, uh, and her boxes are incredible. And I will be doing her a couple of her unboxings uh, coming up. Uh, her company is called Gifts from Mickey. Uh, those are the four boxes, the, the four Disney uh, subscription box companies that I would really recommend. Um, and they're all very different from one another. They all have different ways of curating items and their preferences. So check them out, but you can't go wrong with any of them. They're amazing and incredible. Um, reach out to the owners, email them, message them on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, they're incredible and, and Bibbity, which are the boxes we're going to open to today, are incredible. I love what they do, how much time and care they put into cur curating items. Um, and uh, the ladies, the mom and her daughters on the company, they're incredible. If you follow them on social, social media, they do a lot of fun. I think the mom... Uh, Mama B, as they call her, uh, um, had like roller skates and was like, had an Instagram video of her roller skating, roller skating around the the uh, like their their factory, where they have all of their items, uh, which was really funny and cute. Um, but yeah, they're amazing. Uh, Bibbity, also, I believe so. I could be wrong on this. Um, but I think they also have a shop as well, where if you don't want to sign up for monthly boxes, they also just have items like t-shirts that you could get in backpacks that is, that is on their website. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. So if I'm wrong, I apologize. Or I think they used to have that. Um, also... They do offer, like I said, Disney boxes. It is a monthly subscription. I think they also offer one-time boxes as well. Um, if you don't want to go ahead and sign up for that monthly subscription, they offer Disney, Harry Potter, Marvel, um, I think Star Wars. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, again, I apologize. Don't hold me to that. Um, and I think other fandoms too. I think they offer... 
I think other fandoms, they don't quite remember um, because I only do the Harry Potter ones and the Disney, but go on their website, Bibbidi, they are incredible. I will leave their information below. Um, and they are a really great company. They really are. So if you want that Disney magic, which is something I love getting, and it just makes me so happy, uh, and it just brings such joy to my life to see these items, these beautiful items that I'm gonna treasure forever, check them out, they're incredible. So I think that's everything, oh my God. <laughs> Long video, guys. So again, I don't know if this is Harry Potter. I don't know. Oh, this is Harry Potter. Yay! Okay. So. I'm not going to look at the spoiler. I'll just show you the box. Ugh. And this is. A lot of these foozles people, or what do you call them? Like the white things? Oh my God. What? I love mugs. So this is amazing. Is this something that turns up once it gets warm? Because I know they have those kind of, those kind of mugs that like the, the decorations come up. Oh no, no, I was wrong. It's right here already. It does not have to get filled with hot liquid. Oh, wow. I have never seen this in my whole life. This is amazing. Can you guys see that? Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. That is amazing. I am loving that. Oh, and Lily and Co, which means a beautiful necklace or bracelet or earrings or ring. Let's see. And I love me some Harry Potter jewelry. Oh my goodness. What is this? Mischief Manage. Oh God, I love it, you guys. I love the simplicity of it, but it's still so bold. Can you see it? I don't know if it comes up. No, it's shaking. Stop shaking. But it says mischief managed in this beautiful plate. I think it looks, yeah, it's rolled gold. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. I will definitely be wearing that. That is gorgeous. I love Lillian Co. Let me know if you are a huge Lillian Co. fan. I am. And then I have this huge, huge box. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Hold on. I'm going to take another box and then I'm going to show you guys. Hold on. Because this is something that I want you guys to get. Oh wait, did you see it already? You saw it already, didn't you? Oh no. You saw it already. Did you peek? Did you see it? Oh no, I can't even get it out. <laughs> you guys are seeing it already. Wait, no. Don't look. Don't look. Move away because I want you guys to see it when I actually take it out. Oh no, because I want to see it too. I don't want to just stare at a picture of it. I want to see it. Oh my god, you guys. This is crazy. Wait. Wait, oh Lord. This is the unglamorous part of unboxings right here. I feel like that's why a lot of like actual professional YouTubers don't show this part and they like edit out all this part. I do not, because <laughs> I don't know how to. Everything is just happening as, as it happens. <gasps> oh. Yeah, oh my God, what in the world? Oh my God, you guys, look at this. I love snow globes. I've said this before, I'm gonna say it always. I love 
snow globes and Harry Potter snow globes. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look at that, can you see you guys? Oh my goodness. Look at the detail. eyes and his, the teeth. Oh my goodness. That is sun, sun? Sensational, sensational. Oh my goodness. I love that. Holy moly guacamole. Is that everything? I think it is. Let us see now for the cheat sheet, the spoilers, what's inside. I get the, I think the gold one is what it's called. Oh my God. Wow. So the Wizarding World of Harry Potter uh, snow globe, $65. Holy moly, guacamole. The Harry Potter mug, $16. And the Lillian Co beautiful gorgeous necklace is $34 combined for $115 and I get the gold one which I think is like $85 or $90 it's definitely around there oh your box was curated with love by Becky thank you Becky thank you Becky I love that I love how they say who curated your box um I love that good I needed that so badly. I'm telling you guys, I, I had a really rough morning. I had a rough wake, very emotional, very sad. So I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Like this is like, this is what Disney does. This is what Disney does. This is what filming with you guys does to me. Just talking with you guys and just having this, this communication and sharing and my love for Harry Potter and Disney. I love it. I, oh God, this is so amazing. Wow, that was incredible. All right, next box. <laughs> I told you, long video. I don't know what this is. Harry Potter, Disney, maybe both. Cause I did tell them they could send me both too. And also side story, I have not updated my preferences since last spring, which I know is maybe a sin to some people, um, but I just haven't had the, the time and I just keep on forgetting. So um, yeah, I have no idea. I haven't requested any specific items in close to a year because I just have not updated my preferences at all. So I have no idea, no idea. Okay, this is Disney. This is Disney. Okay, now we're doing some Disney magic. Oh, I love it! Yay! This is amazing! Yes! I needed a soft, soft mini to love and to hold and to snuggle. I love this. Classic mini with her yellow shoes and bow tie and her red dress with polka dots and her bow and her, her gloves. They're very soft. Oh my goodness. Disney plushes are so soft. Oh, so soft. Oh my God. There is a huge showcase. Oh my God massive showcase that is taking up the full rest of the box up. I'm not even kidding. Oh my God, you guys. Oh God, jeez Louise. <laughs> what? Ah! Oh my God, you guys. I can't even get it. <laughs> I can't even reach it out. All right, I'm gonna have to turn this box over. It's gonna, it's gonna get messy. Oh my God, the, the little white things are getting all over the place but I don't know how else to like get the, oh, I think that's everything. Oh, oh, there's a pen, little rabbit. 
I do love Alice. I'm not the biggest pin collector. I think I've mentioned this before. Um, so maybe I'll like give this away. If you guys want this, let me know. Um, I'm not the biggest pin fan. So if you guys want this, let me know. And I can send it to you. Um, but yeah, I do love Alice in Wonderland. Um, I'm just not the biggest pin fan, um, but still very cute. Yes, I, I do remember last spring asking for this piece because I saw it on their list of items that, that you could request. So this is one of the older boxes that I got, I think dating back last spring, which I know again is insane and crazy that I've been holding on to these boxes for that long. But just, just mentally, I just was not in the space to do unboxings. Just between my pregnancy and trying to get pregnant and just mom life, you know, just being so over focused and trying to take care of Chance, my three year old who has speech delays, has been very, um, you know, hard. So, oh my God. You guys, how do you do this? <laughs> <laughs> How do you do this? What do you do? Oh my god. <laughs> How do you do this? I'm gonna just rip into him. Oh my god. Wait, how do you do this? How do you get this this out? Oh god. Oh! <laughs> Guys, oh my god, I don't know where my scissors went. It's probably under like so much. Oh my god, where did my scissors go? I'm in this like tight little corner and I don't even know where things are. Oh, here they are. All right, we're getting to it. We're getting to it. Oh, oh my god, come to me. My heart, my heart. Oh God. My heart, my heart, my heart, my heart, my heart. Hello. Oh my God. Look at this stunning. And he is big. Look at my head. Look at my head. And I have a big head. I'm not kidding. I have a big head. Oh my God. And he's not too heavy for a piece that's so God, Look at his shoulder. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, the way he's smiling. I think it, this does um, come with a, a matching like figurine with Belle, but I wanted the Beast. Um, but I also would love to get the, be the Belle one too. Um, but he's, look at his face and his eyes and look the way this, his suit is and his bow in the back and look at these beautiful like did they do ro they, I'm, I'm assuming they came up with this on purpose like roses hello like that can't be just coincidence obviously they did roses for a per for a reason um that's just not like coincidence but the way the suit is oh and his tail oh so chivalrous such a gentleman i love beauty and the beast i did not like the the remake i don't like it when they i'm not a huge fan and i hope i'm not making enemies here when i say this or people are not going to be like oh my god i'm unsubscribing to your channel <laughs> but i do not like live actions i really don't i like the originals i like the cartoons i like the nostalgic behind it the original og classics I don't like it when they remake them into live action. I really am not a fan of that. Um, except for, I mean, Aladdin wasn't too bad. Um, I think there was like one or two where I was kind of like, okay, that's not too, too bad. I'm trying to remember. There was like one or two more, I think, that kind of came out. I wasn't a fan of the live action of um, Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson. And I love Emma Watson as an actress, so it wasn't on her. I just, I just don't like when they do re live, um, re um, you know, when they do the live actions from the, the cartoons. 
um, I feel like there was one more that came out. Oh, Lion King. Lion King I didn't even see because I'm not that crazy about um, the movie in the beginning. It's not one of my favorites. Um, and there was another one I thought they did that I'm drawing a blank on. I don't know. But I wanted this. Look at this. Oh, my God. He is massive. I, 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 don't, I, have, like, I have no more room. There, I don't have enough room. <laughs> I have no more room, guys. I don't even know where I'm gonna put him. I am, oh my God, he is magnificent. Woo, all right, so, oh, wonderful. Oh, wait, uh, oh, button, okay, I was gonna say, oh my goodness, okay. So this was curated with love by Amanda. Thank you, Amanda, and this is the ultimate magic. Um, the uh, button was $2. The showcase um, figurine was, oh my, what? Oh my God, $110? What? And the stuffed animal, the plush, was $19.99, coming to a grand total of $131.99. And I think this box... The ultimate magic i could be wrong again so please if i'm wrong don't you know hold me to it i think it's 125 dollars i think or maybe 130 or somewhere around 125 dollars i think but oh my god that was amazing i'm going to move you guys back just a little bit you hear that noise sorry <laughs> that's my little phone stand my little dinky phone stand that i got off amazon for like 20 bucks Nothing fancy here, guys. Nothing fancy. No fancy lights. No fancy, like, ring lights or, or movie, you know, editing apps. I don't do any of that because I don't have... I just... Now my floor is a total crazy mess. I'm going to have to vacuum. Oh, my God. My house is such a mess. I was, like, an hour ago before I started this video because I know this video is going on for like an, an hour now i was like okay i could rather clean my house or i could sit down and really and like record this video which is something i really wanted to do and i was like you know what i'm gonna record i'm gonna record and then i can always clean my house later because my house is a complete pigsty i have so many dirty dishes in my sink the the carpets need to be vacuumed i have bills to pay like i have so much stuff to do but I really wanted to record this video with you guys. So that's what I did. That's what I did. Okay, oh my goodness. Next box, last box, yeah. Woo wee. I think this is the Disney one, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let me know, guess, 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 guess. Disney Harry Potter, Disney Harry Potter. I think Disney which means it's probably Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Are you guys okay over there? You're like, like all the way over there. Cause I'm in this tight little, like small little corner. Oh, it's Disney, I was right. Oh my God, this is my birthday box. So this is from April, my birthday is in April. I mean, in April. My birthday is this month. It was April 4th. Like, I'm acting like my birthday my birthday month has already passed. Um, but that's the other amazing thing that Bibbidi does. When it's your birthday, they put in a special, like, birthday card for you. Oh, my God. Have the best birthday ever. Wishing you a magical birthday with love from the Bibbidi team. Brenda. Becky, Amanda, and Trish. Thank you guys. Yeah. Ooh, my birthday box. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh, this is what I was totally wrong. It's my wizard's fault. I thought it was Disney. My bad. It's the I knew I was wrong. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I was I knew I was wrong. Oh, look, the sugar quill lollipop. I love sweets. I love chocolate. I love candy. Absolutely. 
Yes, 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 yes. I will probably devour this when this video is done. It's not going to my boys. It's going to me. Me. It's Harry Potter. <laughs> what in the world? What is this? Potions class Funkos? Or what is this? Mini Funkos? What is this? I've never seen this before. Ah. I'm just like getting into it. Nothing's neat. Nothing's met. Oh, whoops. Uh, oh, no. Oh my God, this is an actual Funko of the potions class. This is so amazing. This is a Funko. I didn't know they did this of a potions class. With the door and the books and the candle and the, um, the candles. Oh, wow. And they have like the windows over here and the brick. Can you guys see that? And the chair and the table. And this is actually like movable. And so is the table. It comes out and you can move it around. My boys would love this. My six year old loves Harry Potter. So he would love that. So I might give that to him. That is awesome. I love that. Oh my goodness, the big one. The big one. This is massive. Massive. Oh my God. And I can already tell I do not have room for him at all. So he's gonna, I don't even know. I don't even know how. I need to like reorganize my figurine. Um, shelf so much what in the world is this like an actual oh it's uh, like a cloth to clean it fancy 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 schmancy oh my god you guys how on earth <laughs> oh my god I hate getting these things out of the box because I'm not good at it. Oh my god. Oh wait, oh it came out, it came out, it came out, it came out. Oh. <laughs> you just have to like fling it somewhere. Oh my god, you guys. Oh. Uh, uh. Jeez Louise! Oh my god, I love this. This is like the Wizarding World, um, like officially licensed, um, like figurines by the Wizarding World by Harry Potter. Ugh. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Oh my god, what in the world? What is this? What is this? What the? What the? What the? <laughs> is that like his his um his cane? So how do you do that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you go like this? What? Wait. Does it stay or am I or is it gonna fall out? Oh, it's yeah. It kind of falls out. But still, it like yeah. Yeah. There we go. Wait. No. It's gonna fall out. Wait. There we go. <laughs> Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God. Oh, I have a lot of these pieces. Um, you probably can't see her from behind, but I have Hermione. I have Draco upstairs in my closet, which is where I keep a couple of decorations as well. I have, um, I think I have Hagrid. I have to, in, the, in my other, um, like, sitting room, in my other family room. But look at this. Oh, Dobby. Oh, my God, Dobby. I love Dobby so much. Please let me know if you are a huge Harry Potter fan and who, like, what, 
book was your favorite, what movie was your favorite character. I would love to know and to read those comments. I always love reading your comments so much. But the way they do this with the movement and the like the how it, they make it look so rough and distressed and how it's kind of crumbling and how they make it look so antique and old and the boots and the pants Oh my goodness. Oh, it's going to fall. The cane's going to come out. It's so breathtaking and gorgeous. Oh my God. Wait, did this break? Maybe it broke? How do I don't know. No, never mind. I thought it broke for a second, but it's all good. But his face. Oh my goodness, and the gloves even, like that's an amazing detail. And Dobby, can you see Dobby? Oh my goodness, I love this. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, <clears throat> your box was curated with love by Becky. Thank you, Becky. Okay, so the Honey Duke's Lollipop, uh, four dollars and ninety-five cents. The um, uh, Fungo, uh, the Potions Fungo was ten dollars, and the um, the figurine uh, was ninety dollars, coming to a total of one o four ninety five. And again, this is the Wizard's Vault. I think the gold or the, I forgot which one. This is amazing value. Oh my goodness. And these items are incredible. Holy. Wow. 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 That is amazing. Oh, all right, everybody. Oh, thank you so much for joining me with this triple unboxing. Whoa. And this life update with um, just my life and what's been going on. Um, I know you guys probably were like, oh, can she get the unboxings already? <laughs> but I really wanted to share with you guys what's been going on and how I've been feeling and just what's been going on, just emotionally and mentally and physically. Um, and I love you guys so much for always being here with me and just caring about uh, just what's been going on with me. And I just appreciate and love you guys so much. I cannot say that enough. Um, it just means so much to me to always read your comments and to, to, to just have this, this friendship and bond with you guys. So thank you. Um, I have incredible content coming. So many other great unboxings, box swaps, collaborations, um, and a couple of surprise videos that I don't want to... I don't want to give any spoilers about, but I was thinking about it yesterday and I would really, really love to do a kind of video that is not really Disney or Harry Potter inspired or related at all. Um, but I really want to do it. It's something that I'm very passionate about and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys will like that video when it comes out in the next couple of weeks. Um, I also thought I would maybe do some DVC videos because we are DVC members and I thought I would, I would love to give my opinion about DVC. I've seen a couple of other great YouTubers that I love and respect and look up to. They do a lot of great DVC content. So I thought maybe I would make a video or two about that. If you guys were interested, I'd love talking about DVC. Um, just a lot of great videos um, coming, coming this year, next year. 
I hope to be doing this for the next 20 years. Oh my God, I would love that. To be like 80 years old and still making Disney YouTube videos, I would love that so much. <laughs> I would love that. Um, so thank you guys so much again for being here with me. And um, yeah, I'll see you when I see you. And have a beautiful day, have an amazing day. And um, yeah.